I'll put probably about twenty thousand uh, dollars in total in that portfolio. I think I could probably grow this into close to a million dollar by the end of the bull run. In terms of my portfolio with the grid bot, I'll only tra trade the three assets: Bitcoin, Ethereum, and uh, the Ethereum Bitcoin pair. And I pick those three because I feel it's a lot safer because I really believe that there won't be massive pullbacks maybe 20 to 30 percent at most and meanwhile i can just use more leverage patrick aka crypto rookies is going to show us how he plans to take twenty five thousand dollars and turn it into one million you do not want to miss how he plans to do this and also check the description because there'll be some links there if you want to read more information about this if you haven't done so already please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel it'll help support the show and the guests Enjoy this episode with Patrick, aka Crypto Rookies. So I'm building a new crypto portfolio. I have two main crypto portfolio. One that is a, more like a buy and old type of scenario with a tiny bit of leverage. Now I'm creating a new portfolio. I put uh, $3,000 and 143 into this, but I'll add, uh, I'll put probably about $20,000 uh, in total in that portfolio. I think I could probably grow this into close to a million dollar by the end of the bull run. And uh, I'll describe basically here how I do this and using Gridbot. Because I, I use Gridbot because I've tried the uh, day trading and I feel that it nowadays with market makers, with other like really big whales, you, you deactivate your stop loss way too much. It's really hard to make money. Meanwhile, with Gridbot, uh, I don't have the same issue because it's in a range that is much larger. And if the price basically go down or the, like the market makers try to push and manipulate the price to trigger liquidation or like to trigger a, like a really sharp, uh, like decline just to, to, to kill off some, uh, some stop loss. For example, here, you see this, uh, this wick, like it, it was here, it went sharply to this zone and this zone, I already had specified it at, uh, three, uh, 38,536 and the wick went straight up to it basically. So what that point is, is that if you look at uh, basically a liquidation zone, uh, let me see. you can go on coin glass and look at the liquidation heat map. You can see where the liquidation zone are on, on Bitcoin and some uh, other like big uh, token. And typically speaking, it's really often when you see a big wick, it's to try to trigger one of those liquidation zones. For example, there's a pretty yellow one right now at 51,299. I think it's not pos impossible that market makers will, will send a sharp decline to, to trigger those two, and then the price will go back up right away. It's just to basically liquidate the traders that like, started a kind of a long position uh recently and that's their liquidation level basically it's not impossible that it could go down to this one as well but uh you know right now we are in a upward momentum trend it's possible they are not gonna go liquidate them just yet maybe it's in a few weeks from now but it's something you have to be aware of that uh, it's a danger and you see there's also above price there's people who are shorting so it's possible that you could actually go and trigger them to liquidate them if you go to 52 966 and and so on so it's saying there, there's liquidation all around the, the place but the more yellow it is the more uh, there's basically value that is locked to to go grab and market makers manipulate the price to trigger people like that so that means that uh, when i use my grid bot uh, i put a, a range of my grid bot that is uh, basically large enough like Right now, I activated this one two days ago between 37,500 and 57,850. So that means my liquidation price right now is at $32,000. It's very, very unlikely that Bitcoin will crash that low. And it started at 36, which was right below my range. That's what I like about uh, using Gridbot is that if I had activated a, like a long position, at uh, an entry price that I went in was at 48,912. So I, like, if you look at the price of Bitcoin around that point, uh, it was not really necessarily a good entry point, to be honest. 
but I did it anyway because if the price go down, it's basically my because my grid bot is until 37. I'll be basically just DCAing down. So my it will be buying back some ter, some Bitcoin as the price go down. It is it's basically you're doing a DCA, like dollar cost averaging on the way down. So that's what I, and then my trip my liquidation zone was at uh, 36, but it went down because I've accumulated profit in the last two days and the price went up. So right now I'm at uh, already like 15% in profit, but uh, it's a, you have to differentiate between there's unrealized profit, uh, that 461, and then there's 186 that, that has been uh, actual profit because the, the price went up uh, from uh, compared to my entry price. So right now we are at 51,903. What that means is that if you look at these three year of trades, it's it's me it's keep making pairs of trade as the uh, market go up and down. If it's a long grid bot, and then you have mul multiple grids in your in your bot, every time the price will cross a, one of the grid on the way down, it will be basically buying, like in this case, the uh, Bitcoin. And when the price go up through a grid line, it will sell Bitcoin, and it keeps. Uh, making pairs of trade that are profitable between buying and selling. As we see okay. in the last two days and nine hours, it, it created two, 235 trades, basically. And if I look at the history, I'll explain a little bit that, how it works. Here I made 16 cents of profit on that pairs of trade. And because I, I selected 200 grids between the range that I selected, it's every $90 or so, there's a like a grid basically uh, and then if you scroll down you'll see that in some cases it's not 16 dollars because those were pairs of trade of with a 90 dollars uh, in between but if i keep going down there will be much bigger profit because i use a leverage of 10x on my grid bot and it's like, typically speaking if you use a 10x leverage on a day trade uh, trade you get liquidated relatively fast if you're not uh, doing it correctly so this is a lot more uh, lenient in not being liquidated that's the that's what i like about this even with the 10x leverage basically what you're saying is you're, you're turning twenty three thousand into a million did i hear you but correctly? it's not guaranteed yet but uh, that, that will be my plan i've operated great bot for the past two years on average i do about 10 percent per month but now we are in a bull market, so so that means that uh, in a sideway market, if I can do about uh, ten percent per month in a bull market, uh, that will increase to to you know maybe twenty five percent a month. Um, so here, like what I was saying, like this trade there, I made six dollar and uh, fifty cents of profit, and that was because when I I started my grid bot at thirty eight nine hundred and seventeen, I used the ten x leverage. So it basically, uh, now that was the, the, the top eye of, uh, of the range that so far the price went to. So it was basically the profit was, the delta was between my initial uh, price entry and the, the current price. So that's why the profit in this case was better because this one applied the, the leverage with it. And this one was only 16 cents because it was just between the, the 48 896 and the 48,997. Once the, the leverage has been consumed for one uh, trade, then it's gone. So when the price go back down, you don't have the same risk level. That's why your liquidation price go down really quick because you don't have as much uh, leverage into it anymore. So I think there's a lot of intricacy with grid bots, but uh, me, I, I like that a lot because it's, it's a lot safer to, to generate yield and you don't, have the same upside as a full day trader, but you don't have the same risk level either. And uh, I'll try to prove that I can convert $20,000 $20, into a million in the next year and a half. Let's see if I succeed or not. Obviously, that's not financial advice. There's a lot of risk. And you know, my other aggressive portfolio, it's composed of like a 20 or so uh, kind of investment. In terms of my portfolio with the grid bot, I'll only tra trade the three assets, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and uh, the Ethereum Bitcoin pair. And I picked those three because I feel it's a lot safer because I really believe that there won't be massive pullbacks. 
maybe 20 to 30 percent at most and meanwhile i can just use more leverage so so that's why i said i i do it that way uh i could use a grid bot on some other assets but then the the fluctuation would be bigger and then i would have to use less leverage to prevent the liquidation so so i think it's it's with the etf uh with those two assets i feel really comfortable that there will be sustained buying pressure that uh, might be bigger than just retail investors and market makers fluctuations let's say i i want to set up this this grid bot uh how do i get started and then also how hands-on do i need to be with the actual grid bot okay so the first thing I read about grid bots is that you have to select if it's going to be a long, a neutral, or a, a short. Right now we're in a bull market, so for me, I like my bots to be active for a few weeks to a, sometime a month or so. Um, so I, I pick a range that is relatively wider than uh, a typical day trader would choose. So in this case, I put, uh, let's say I put that my range, I was comfortable going to 37,500. So it's basically because I feel that looking at this chart, like on the weekly chart on uh, trading view, like 38,500, and I looked at coin glass on the liquidation zone, I feel that it's not impossible we could go down there at some point in the next few weeks. Uh, you're, you're creating a range and you're looking at yeah. what could the floor possibly be? Yeah, because I don't want to get liquidated. And if the price actually go to 38,500, I'll be happy just doing a DCA on the way down to buy back more Bitcoin, which is what the bot will do. If you look at the past $59,000, and I looked on CoinGlass also, I think that's uh, 58, 59 is about the upper range that we may see in a very near future. So that's why I, I pick uh, this as my upper range. It's not impossible it could go to you know 67, 500 or 68 because of that, that was the all-time high of the last uh, bull market. But I think that might take a few more weeks before we reach there. I think we'll probably go to 59 as the next big one before we, 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 we go between and oscillate between that range for the doing accumulation until we really push through breaking that 68. So that's mean that I'll reactivate a, a new bot as my bot at 59 exit. I'll just reactivate a bot between probably uh, 50 and 69. So I'll keep closing my current bot, restarting one with, with leverage again and all that stuff. Whenever you have micro fluctuation, like up and down, your bot will activate between the, uh, the grids. So you, you'll keep uh, making money. So I have a grid bot on Elix also. I'm just playing with that one. So this one doesn't have uh, leverage. It's with, uh, I'm trading injective and with a pair of USDT, but you see all of those tiny grids. It's because I specified that I wanted 50 grids. Every time the price of injective will go high, it will sell. And every time it will go back down, it will buy. As soon as I consume a sell, I will have a new buy. So it will keep oscillating and keep during my range. And I think this one I activated uh, on January 1st. And uh, basically it's 7% up. Uh, it oscillates uh, because of the price. This one, uh, it doesn't tell me what is the profit of the, that is, realized profit versus unrealized profit so right now there in that seven percent there's also just the price of injective that went up a tiny bit and i, I didn't put a lot of money because i was testing uh, this one but i say i like grid bots because you let them run and this one i've been running for uh 45 days right now this number is incorrect that's a bug on your system but it's like it's been 45 days about that i've been running this and it keep making money. So, so that's the interesting part. Then, seven percent again in forty-five days, but with no leverage. With leverage, you you can significantly increase this. So, I, I feel a lot safer, and it's still good return in my opinion. It, it sounds like what you're saying is that grid bots are uh, you consider it to be safer than going out there and just day trading. Yeah. Yeah. So you can use uh, uh, the AI configure tool like if you go on bybit or any uh, exchange that support uh, gridbot and elix is a decentralized exchange that support gridbot too but they don't have leverage meanwhile most of the centralized exchange that have gridbots you can use uh, leverage so that's the advantage uh, they have an ai tool to configure the bot for you and you can also copy trade existing uh, gridbot uh, people like me for example 
So that's one way to get started without understanding the uh, technical analysis. Meanwhile, if you have some basic understanding of TA, but you're not really good at it, I think you'll get by. Because again, it's a lot more lenient uh, when the price go down, you're, you're just basically accumulating token. And because we're on a bull run, to me, I feel a lot safer that uh, you're fine if it goes down. It's a lot more safe than doing day trading. So even if your technical analysis is not up to par, I think you'll still get by. You'll get maybe a bit less return, but you know, like you learn through it at least. So it's a safer environment to learn through it that is uh, not going to penalize you as much. In this case, I got pretty lucky. Like uh, in uh, two day and nine hours, uh, I'm up fifteen percent already. And it's saying uh, on the uh, APR, that's uh, like two thousand seven hundred percent. But this, because as I said before, the leverage get consumed, and then you don't liquidate get liquidated as much, but then the return start to slow down also. So at some point, uh, you want to just cash in your gain and maybe reactivate a new bot with new leverage again, if you want to keep up with the high APR. But I think the higher APR means that you're a little bit less safe at the beginning, but then as leverage get consumed, you're a lot safer. So uh, it depends what is your like risk threshold uh, like you, you can keep it active. Me, I keep them active for a few weeks usually. And in terms of uh, Dibit, I, what I like about their grid bot is that you can withdraw from the bot without shutting it down. So when you have a lot of accumulated profit that has been realized, and if you see that your liquidation price is like very low, you can start taking money out. So it's kind of like passive income. So that's interesting. The other thing I would mention is that I didn't put a stop loss. And when you do day trading, you you should really put a stop loss. But in this case, the thing it's I feel that it's very unlikely that I'll lose because it, the bot will just DCA on the way down to my bottom range, which I put uh, to be wide enough. I try to have my uh, grid profit to be above 0.3% at least. Because if it's too low, that means that your profit compared to the, the, uh, the trading fee will be too low. So I try to be at, at least above 0.3% on my grid profit. So that's why I picked 200 grid so that it trigger enough. Because if I had put 10 grids, it would trigger very sparsely, like an almost never. And then I would not accumulate as much uh, grid profit on a daily basis. And you don't want to have too many because then your grid profit is too low versus the fee that you pay. Thanks so much for tuning in. What are your thoughts on grid bots? Have you used it before? Are you more of a trader or... Perhaps maybe like me, you're more of a long-term holder. For me, it was very insightful in getting a perspective on using grid bots, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next video.